to the peace pact signing, the former president of Liberia, Madam Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, is addressing the gathering. Thank you very much, Madam President. Ellen yeah, Johnson. Um, what she shared with the gathering in later bulletins, but she's still live here on Joy News today. President Ekufuado is counting on the Council of States for wise counsel on matters of the state. Swearing in the newly elected president of the National House of Chiefs, the president said he has every intention to exploit the constitutional provisions which enjoined him to refer bills passed or being considered by parliament for their input. I have followed religiously, even though I have Every chief or leader has a group of elders to advise him or her. The framers of our constitution found it necessary to establish a council of state to give impartial and objective advice to the president. It is important, therefore, that regardless of your background, you will carry out your duties dispassionately. The council has a broad scope of advisory functions in counseling the president. It plays an important advisory role in the appointment of high officials of the state, like the Chief Justice of the Republic, the Governor of the Bank of Ghana, the heads of the nation's security services, officials of the President's office, and other critical officers of the state. Again, according to Article 90, the President can request the Council to consider amendments to bills either before they are passed or even after they are passed by Parliament. Further, Article 91, Clause 3 of the Constitution gives the Council what appears to be an unfettered remit to advise other bodies like Parliament or any other authority. In my view, this is not meant to be a busybody charter, but on matters of significant national importance, the Council can let his views be known. As a distinguished traditional ruler, you have the quality of experience that can enhance the work of the council. You're joining a council that has proven so far to be very effective and excellent in its deliberations and output. It is my hope and expectation that you will also make sound contribution to the proceedings of the council and thereby add value to its product and help enrich my presidency for the benefit of the Ghanaian people. 